Hello, my name is Nicholas Potiger, and this is my presentation on archiving workflows in cloud-based storage. Workflows can be very useful for splitting a task into more manageable pieces. Workflows are made up of connected tasks represented as circles, which have dependency inputs and outputs represented as boxes. The inputs and outputs can range from simple text files to more complicated directories. Makeflow is a tool used to run these large complex workflows on clusters, clouds, and grids, and provides a way to extract workflow contents. Scientists may need a way to split up their large-scale computations into pieces so their computations run more efficiently, which is where workflows become useful. These scientists may not want to run the same computations twice, though, and may want to share their outputs. We want to find effective ways to archive workflow contents into an Amazon S3 bucket so they are easily accessible. Before uploading workflow contents to Amazon S3, which stores them on their cloud servers, the workflow contents are structured on the local machine in this form where each file and task has a unique identifier. After uploading, the next workflow run will download the contents from the S3 bucket and restructure them in this local format again before copying them to the user's directory of choice. We tested on two workflows. BLAST, a computationally heavy workflow, contains fewer tasks with larger file sizes where BWA, a computationally lighter workflow, contains a large amount of small files. We tested for upload, download, checksumming, creating unique identifiers, checking S3 for the existence of files, and workflow time, non-S3 actions. The workflows were run with a normal workflow run filling the empty S3 bucket and retrieving from a full S3 bucket. For BLAST, downloading from S3 was significantly faster than the normal workflow run because of longer computations, but this is the opposite result for the BWA workflow. Each BWA computation is shorter than actually downloading the task, which is why the normal workflow runs were faster than downloading. We concluded that the archive can be faster in the situation where we are dealing with heavier computational workflows. S3 enables collaboration through bucket sharing, but also charges a fee for using its services. The user will have the balance between speed, cost, and collaboration. Thank you to these people for their help and also to these groups for supporting me. Thank you all for watching.